Good afternoon. The book I'm going to be reviewing today is War, How Conflict Shaped Us by Margaret Macmillan. This was a really comprehensive and detailed book about war and our society and how those two have been intertwined since the beginning of human history. And it's really interesting the way she wrote this book because it demonstrates how war and our civilization have influenced each other throughout time. She starts out with explaining the reasons for war and how we engage in war and how those have changed. And we've gotten to a point now where we're starting to fight over not only territory and resources and sexual partners like we did back when we were cavemen, but also now we're fighting over ideas that are both ethical and moral and religious ideas. And she starts talking about the paradoxes that have started to develop due to the evolution of war in our society itself. There was a time that it was thought that war would eventually become obsolete because we were moving from dictatorships to democracies. However, the problem arises is that in a democracy, you need the support of your people in order to have a long protracted war. This is a problem because your enemy knows this. And so what they start to do is attack your civilian population by bombing their factories, bombing their farmland, or flat out killing civilians in order to ruin the morale of the population and get them to force their own government to end the war. So in some ways, wars aren't getting better and more calm, they're getting worse. And despite the best attempts of things like the Geneva Convention and rules of war, and conduct of soldiers, in a lot of ways, wars are getting worse than they ever have been in the past. And Margaret Macmillan kind of touches on, towards the end of the book, where war is going. And it's scary stuff because eventually we're going to have killer robots and artificial intelligence. So elected leaders may not even need the support of the people. Um, there's a bunch of topics in this book that I'm not going to touch on here in this review. But it's well worth reading this book. Uh, for myself, I can say that I don't know a whole lot about history or the, the history of war. So one uh, sign that a book is a great book is that it motivates you to read more books. So after reading this book, I definitely want to start uh, search out more books about history, more books about war, and Margaret Macmillan herself also has other books um, on different wars throughout history. So she has definitely done her job when it comes to writing a, a good history book. And I really uh, strongly suggest that if you're interested in the same topics, you should go check it out for yourself. Uh, my name is Aaron Sedino. Thank you for listening to my book review. Have a good day.